Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and I'm finally settling into the new house. It's so great having more space, and I even have a shiny new fiber internet connection getting one gigabits per second speeds. It's great to have those speeds. However, the router that was included doesn't quite cover the amount of space that I have in this house. That brings us to the Netgear Orbi 970 series Wi-Fi 7 mesh system. Big thanks to Netgear for sponsoring this video and sending this over for us to check out. This is Netgear's fastest and most powerful Wi-Fi yet. And Wi-Fi 7 is actually 2.4 times faster than Wi-Fi 6. And of course, completely backwards compatible with older Wi-Fi devices. Wi-Fi 7 also brings a slew of added features we'll talk about in this video. Now, I've gotten complaints from guests that are staying in my guest room that the Wi-Fi is spotty or just simply doesn't work for them. On top of that, I can't get connection on the front of my house or in the garage. The garage is detached from the building, so it's a little bit further away. I can't get any connection. It maybe stays connected for a few seconds and then just completely shuts off. So I'm really hoping this is going to solve all of my pain points in terms of distance, especially with this mesh system. Anyways, let's get everything all set up and put our net gear or read to the test. Let's get started. In case you're wondering what comes in the box, you get your standard booklets getting started guide plus three power cables for the router and the two satellites. Finally in the box, you get your flat ethernet cable and here is a first look at that router and two satellites. I do love the design of these. They're really sleek. There's also a model that comes in a black color if that's of interest at netgear.com. This more circular design lends itself to the 360 degree connection that these have with very strong antennas all the way around. From the front, you really can't tell them apart. They all look the exact same. However, when you flip them around is when you can start to see the differences between the router and the two satellites. This Wi-Fi system gives you up to 27 gigabits per second speeds. And looking at the back of our router, you have a 10 gigabit per second ethernet port. Crazy, those speeds are attainable. And four, two and a half gigabit per second ethernet slots. You also have a reset button and your sync button. And on the back of our two satellites, they're each equipped with one 10 gigabit per second ethernet port and two two and a half gigabit per second ethernet ports. I love that they have so many ports on the satellites themselves. A quick look at the bottom, wanted to point out there's a lot of grip, so it's not going to slide around no matter what surface you put it on. The setup process was honestly so simple. Once I connected the main router to my modem, I just used the Orbi app and got everything taken care of. I was able to name my Wi-Fi, whatever I wanted. Really nice for those advanced controls. You can even use face unlock to access them. Once the router was all set up, it prompted us to connect our mesh satellites into different spots in our house. The app took care of everything and got our mesh network all set up and ready to go, which brought us to our home screen where I was able to confirm our routers all connected to our satellites. So nice to be able to control our Wi-Fi all from one app. There's even an IoT Wi-Fi, which I love. You can connect all of your smart home devices too, so it doesn't congest specific bands that you want your you know, higher end TVs, your laptops and your phones to be using. Now that we're all set up and ready to go, let's dive into it. Let's run a speed test on Wi-Fi and wired. Onto our Wi-Fi test, putting our phone right next to the router. First of all, ping, two milliseconds. That's great to have. And check out these speeds. Upload almost 940 megabits per second and download. Look at that, 978 megabits per second. So you're almost taking full advantage of that gigabit per second over Wi-Fi. That's crazy. Something the Orbi 970 series Wi-Fi 7 mesh system has that I look for in a mesh system is that quad band technology and dedicated backhaul. This means there's a dedicated antenna to connect the router to its satellite point so it's not causing any interference with your other tech products that are connecting to your Wi-Fi network. This also means you have access to multiple bands, especially with Wi-Fi 7 having access to 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, the ones you're probably familiar with, but now there's a 6 gigahertz band, which is even faster than both of those. Now on previous generations, you used to have to choose between using 5 gigahertz and 6 gigahertz bands. However, with Wi-Fi 7, you can use both simultaneously. This is called MLO or multi-link operation. Now let's put that mesh network to the test and go all the way upstairs where there is that dead zone in the guest room. 
I tested a couple different phones. One of them couldn't pass 40 megabits per second. Another one couldn't even get over like seven megabits per second. And some couldn't even connect at all. So that really explains the complaints I've gotten from my guests at it being very spotty or just not working. Now, let's go up there since our mesh network's installed and do the same test. Okay, moment of truth. We've got our phone connected to our mesh network and even up towards the top, a little seven icon next to the Wi-Fi icon. So the phone even knows it has a better internet connection. And running our speed test, wow, right away, these speeds are crazy. 633 megabits per second download and 566 megabits per second upload. And the satellite point is in another room upstairs. So it's not even in the same room. I'm really pleased with those kind of speeds. With our Netgear Orbi 970 series Wi-Fi 7 mesh system, you can get up to 10,000 square feet of Wi-Fi coverage, which is crazy and exactly what I need in my home. However, let's run the real test all the way outside in my detached garage. I'm trying to put security cameras out there, but I can't because I don't have internet access. I'm trying to set up, you know, smart speakers out there to listen to music. I can't, I don't have Wi-Fi access. Let's see if it reaches. Netgear wasn't kidding about their 360 degree coverage with their high powered antennas inside. I actually have Wi-Fi connection in my garage now. It's honestly really far away, so my hopes weren't very high, but it really just extends and reaches to my garage, which is perfect. Now, obviously, since it's right on the edge of that really wide bubble, the speeds aren't going to be as fast, which is totally acceptable. And don't forget, you have that IoT Wi-Fi that you can connect to to eliminate interference, and it will be the longest, furthest band that you can connect to for those security cameras. So now I can finally monitor my garage with security cameras and even set up smart home speakers and listen to music while I'm working on projects. Now that the garage camera is all set up, here we go, just a quick test to make sure that it has a live feed. And there we go. So now I can keep an eye on the inside of my garage and I have one set up on the outside of my garage as well. This mesh system supports up to 200 devices simultaneously absolutely crazy to have that sort of support and needed especially with all of your different smart home devices when you're watching tv on multiple tvs you've got your laptop going someone's gaming someone's streaming it's also so nice to have so many ethernet ports not just on the back of the router but also on those satellites having three ethernet ports is fantastic because you're going to have other devices you want to be hardwired like your tv maybe your game console or even a laptop if you have an office in another room. It's crazy that the satellites have a 10 gigabit per second ethernet port as well, along with the router, but I can't take advantage of that quite yet, but it really does future-proof me going forward. Like I said, I'm going to have access to faster internet speeds. They're gonna be rolling out a five gigabit per second option very soon, hopefully 10 gigabit per second in the future, and I'll definitely be getting that. Now it's one thing for the internet to be really fast in a lot of places, that's great, but it needs to be stable and reliable as well, and that has definitely been the case here. No matter what task I'm doing, I've sat on multiple Zoom calls, been in a lot of meetings, and I haven't had any issues with pixelation where people can't see me or even hear me. The Orbi 970 series has handled everything I've thrown at it, including 8K video watching, a lot of gaming. I'll even do video game streaming on Twitch, so I will have to output 1080p. Also, while watching the stream and having multiple devices connected to the network, on top of that, don't forget about all of the IoT devices that are just connected to the network at all times, like your security cameras, your smart deadbolts, as well on my doors. Even my vacuums are connected to the Wi-Fi network, and I've got two of them in the house, so those will simultaneously run at the same time. All the while, I'm watching videos on multiple TVs, and there's laptop streams going on, so I really put it through the ringer. So all in all, I'm extremely pleased with the Orbi 970 series Wi-Fi 7 mesh system. It has solved all of my internet pain points in my new house. It not only works with my current setup with my smart home products, TVs, laptops, desktops, all that good stuff, but also I know it will future-proof with that Wi-Fi 7 technology plus 10 gigabit per second with that ethernet port. I'm all set. I will be sure to link to this router and mesh system from Netgear down below. Be sure to check it out. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Be sure to subscribe. A lot more content coming soon. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.